Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another tutorial um, about key triggering our patterns and in this case what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the two methods and we're going to combine them together um, the momentary and the latched method and we're actually going to be able to switch between the two uh, using just a single button on the combinator so to start things off let's uh, create a combinator underneath that we're going to create a line 62 mixer underneath that we're going to create a subtractor that's going to be our sound source and then underneath that we're going to hold down the shift key and we're going to create a Thor and this Thor we're going to call the trigger and then we're going to go in and completely initialize the Thor okay this brings all the levels down to zero um, up here and down here and once we have that set to zero, we're going to duplicate the devices and tracks. And we're going to call this Thor Pattern. Okay. In the first Thor, actually, let's flip it around. We're going to do a little routing first, I guess. Um, the first thing we want to do is take the pattern. Um, well, what I will do, just to make things a little easier, let's bring the subtractor down to the bottom this way things are going to be a little linear. Um, we're going to take the note and we're going to put the note into the CV. We're going to take the gate and velocity and we're going to put that into the gate. We're going to take uh, from our trigger, we're going to take curve one and we're going to put it into the CV one input. And that's all the routing that there is to it. So it's really not that complex. Now uh, what we're going to have to do is do a little modulation here. So under um, the trigger, we're going to take the MIDI key gate and we're going to um, leave the amount at zero and we're going to set the destination to the step sequencer trigger. Uh, we're also going to set this run mode to step. We're going to leave it on forward. We're going to go down to the curve. We're going to set the first pattern to, or the first step to zero. And the second step, we're going to set that up to 100. Okay, and we're going to set this step sequence to two steps. So there you have it. You've got two steps, and it's going to go from one to the next. Um, also down here in the pattern Thor, what we're going to do is we're going to set uh, CV input 1. Um, amount is 100. And the output is going to be triggering the step sequencer. Actually, we'll leave this at zero for now. Uh, the second bus is going to be the MIDI key gate, and that's going to be set to 100, and this is going to be set to the step sequencer start trig. Okay, so both of these are going to be starting the trigger. One of them is actually going to be used for the latch method, the other one is actually going to be used for the momentary method. And then finally, we're going to add some transposing to this, so um, we will. Uh, take the what are we going to do here? We're going to take the performance um, pitch bend, and we're going to set this to 53, which gives us a perfect octave. Um, don't ask me why 53 gives you a perfect octave. It has to do with the amount um, value being scalar. Um, and then for this, we will take the step sequencer transpose. Okay. So with that set up, now what you're going to do is we're going to go into the programmer. We're going to click on the subtractor and uncheck the receive notes. We don't want it to receive any notes. For both the um, trigger and the pattern, we're going to set it to use the C-2 key, which is going to trigger everything. And same thing on the pattern of Thor. It's going to be C-2 that's going to be our trigger. Now, on the trigger, Thor, what we're going to do for button one, we're going to set it up so that the mod bus one destination amount is going to be set from zero to 100. In the pattern section, in the pattern Thor, uh, we're going to set button one for the mod bus. Destination amount one is also going to be zero. just get this right
Okay, so that's going to be 0, 100. And then we're also going to do button 1 again in another slot here. And we're going to take the mod bus to destination amount. And this is going to be set from 100 down to 0. Okay. And finally, what we'll do, that's that means that this button is going to be set to um, temporary or momentary and latched. And then we will also take this and we will transpose. Okay, which means we want the pattern and on rotary one, we want to set this to affect the pitch bend. Okay, so now when this affects the pitch bend, it's going to change the pattern um, or the, the transposing of the pattern. The other thing we're going to do in here is we're going to um, randomize the pattern. Um, it's over a two octave spread. We're going to randomize that and we're going to change the run mode to repeat. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Now you can enter whatever sound you want inside the subtractor. I'll just put in a quick sound here. a little phase modulation, a little FM. Now if I use my keyboard over here and I'll just delete these. Okay, so if I press the C minus two key over here right now and then release it, it's gonna stop. But if I press the temp latch and press it again. It's going to stay on until I press the button again. Okay, so that's adding the two, the two methods. Okay, and also you can, of course, transpose it. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. This is how you create a key trigger that has the, both methods on it, the uh, temporary and the latched method, or the momentary and the latched method, and also how to transpose things one octave um, in a one octave range. So thanks for watching, and I'm Rob. Come visit me at reason101.net where I will make this patch available for you. Thank you all for watching.